Hey everybody, welcome back to our series on term events. I'm gonna cover the rules and the scoring for the event for forms. The first event we're gonna see is traditional forms. Now, in traditional forms, the first thing I want you to know is that there's three judges and they're each watching for different things. The second thing I need you to know before we get into anything is that the scores given are not standardized. Let me repeat that, the scores given are not standardized. They are comparative based on the other competitors the judges see that day, in that ring, in that time. In other words, a student can get one, can compete at one tournament and get straight sevens out of nine, and they can compete at the next tournament and they can get straight fours having done the exact same form. So, when it, so we are never able to say, yeah, I watched your form, that's definitely a seven. We don't know, <laughs> because it might be a seven when they're compared to this kid, but it might be a four when they're compared to this kid, okay? So before we even get the scoring thing, the first thing I want you to know is that the scores are entirely based on the judges comparing the competitor to the other competitors that day, all right? Now we've covered those two things, the judges are watching for different things and the scores are not standardized but comparative. Now let's go over what the three judges are watching for. So, at tournament you're going to see three judges. You have Judge A, you have Judge C, the center judge, and you have Judge B. Judge A is watching for kicks and stances. Judge B is watching for blocks and strikes. And Judge C is watching for overall quality, performance and presentation, and knowledge of the form, okay? Right now we're talking about champion division, I'll get there in a second, okay? So, Judge A, kicks and stances. They want to know this with your kicks. Are all of your kicks complete? They have the proper chamber, execution, rechamber, and return. Are they powerful? In other words, do they have mass and speed? Would they hurt the bad guy, okay? And then are they correct? How's the foot position? How's the direction? Uh, is there anything that is incorrect about that kick? And so, those are the three criteria for kicks. Are they complete? Are they powerful? And are they correct, all right? There's a lot to talk about correctness. On kicks and stances, they're watching for this. Are they deep and are they correct, okay? So if you're trying to get the highest score you can out of that kicks and stances judge, that's the question I want you to ask yourself, okay? Judge A does not change what they're watching for, whether it's in the recreational or the competitive division, or the recreational or the champion division. Now, let's go to Judge B, the blocks and strikes judge. They've been nicknamed the hands judge, that's the short way to put it. But I want to be clear that the blocks and strikes judge, Judge B should not care what your hands are doing during a kick because they're not watching for your kicks. They're watching for your blocks and they're watching for your strikes, okay? So, Judge B, blocks and strikes, they're watching for virtually the same thing with hand techniques. Are they complete? That means, do they come from the right starting place? Are they, do they have the correct ending position? Or do I just throw the block with no starting? The block needs to be complete, it needs to be powerful, so there's strength and speed, and then also it needs to be correct. Or is the hand position correct? Is the wrist straight? And a whole bunch of other things that make a correct block or strike. Now, Judge B also does not change what they are watching for, whether it's a recreational or whether it's a champion division. Now, let's talk about Judge C. In the recreational division, the center judge can help the competitor if that competitor gets stuck, and the competitor will not be penalized for not knowing what's, for not remembering the next move. They'll be helped. They will be graded on their quality, okay? So the center judge is watching for their overall performance, presentation, and quality. That's the, in the, uh, champ, that's in the recreational division. In the champion division, then the center judge is going to watch for their overall performance, presentation, quality, and their knowledge of their material. In other words, if the student punches with the wrong hand, 
judge A or B. They don't care. They're going to grade the quality of the technique. If they kick with the wrong leg, if they throw the wrong kick, judge A and B are not going to care. They're simply going to grade the quality of the technique that was thrown. But in a champion division, division judge C is going to take that into consideration for their score. If it's a wrong hand, it's a wrong stance. Judge C does care about their overall knowledge of the material. In a champion division, if the student does not do a complete form, then Judge A and B will still grade the competitor based on the quality of what was thrown, but Judge C has to give them a 9.0, okay? If the student does not complete a form. An incomplete form means they either didn't finish the form or they left out an entire segment or more, okay? So that is the rules for form. Uh, one more thing to cover before I move on. If a student ends up outside of the ring and they need to readjust to continue, the judges will not mark them off. They will not be penalized for doing that, okay? Uh, the next thing, as a reminder, the forms are, the scores are not standardized. The scores are comparative. So the first person who gets up to demonstrate the form, they're not going to receive a score. The second person who gets up, they're not going to receive a score. The third person gets up, then after the third person finishes, the judges are going to call all three of them back, have each one step forward one at a time, and the judges will give the three of them scores comparing them to each other. Once the first three have gone, the judges have now established a base for their scoring system, and every other competitor will be compared to those first three. So if these guys get like a four, a six, and a seven, and that guy's better than all three of them, maybe they're gonna get an eight. If they get like a four, a six, and an eight, and that next guy kind of better than the eight, then maybe they'll get a seven. So they establish the scoring system, and then they fit all the other competitors into that scoring system, okay? Uh, one more thing, if there are two or three competitors, they will not be given scores, the judges will simply point to the one they think was the best. If there is one competitor, the judges are gonna all give them a nine, no matter what, because they were the best one in the ring that day. And remember, the score's not standardized, they're competitive, okay? So, a comparative. So, that is the rules for form. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to, you can comment on this video, you can reach out, you can ask. Uh, if you're watching this video from another school, ask your instructor. Uh, but again, welcome to tournament and welcome to forms competition.